forget that I'll be home in five Adrenaline Rushing through my veins Driving me insane Like a king with the cane Bringing fortune and fame August sun Bleeds from the sky Something to go. Let's do it. Yeah. Well done. It's a lovely blue Maserati over. <laughs> well, so I feel like we're on um, do you know the worth it? Yeah. And there's a cameraman in the back seat. <laughs> <laughs> hey! Go! Oh. Tomorrow it is 11.02. We're in Limerick. Limerick City. Um, because we're going to Spin South West Radio Station to do an interview and play a little acoustic set about our new single and about the summer that we had. Uh, this is Bailey in the back, our cameraman for the day. Um, Hello. <laughs> and Adam, obviously, so we'll keep you posted throughout the day. Later. That's Limerick City! That's Limerick City! That's Limerick City! <laughs> a new track from Gerald Hearn called Home in 5 that is set to be released later this year we're going to chat a little bit more about the track in a few minutes right after we chat to the man himself Gerald Hearn you're very welcome to Spin South West thank you very much for having me how are things listen I need to mention Adam Adam how are you as well right, sorry. Sorry, <laughs> sorry sorry because I was, got, I was getting a little bit confused when I got in contact with you guys first because Gerald Hearn I was like going to be a guy on his own but Gerald you have a band as well yeah. Um, so how does this all work? It's Gerald O'Hearn music. I'm gonna call it plus band. Yeah, it would be kind of like you know if you came across like you know Gavin James or any of these artists that have bands behind them and mm -hmm. stuff. Uh, but you're uh, just getting yours a little bit more involved in everything, I think. Yeah, absolutely. Because um, more recently we we've started. At, all along it was me gathering a band to play my music, but now we have such a large input because the lads like Home Five, for example, the whole kind of guitar riff the whole meme I was actually written by Adam you know I did the lyrics and stuff but Adam wrote the kind of the instrumentation of it if you would say um, so and we are like brothers we, we know each other a long time and everything so uh, yeah they have a big input in the in the Gerald O'Hearn original music and stuff and if you see on our social media we do we do work as a band it's just yeah it just goes under my name yeah because you did a lot of work independently before you ever started doing stuff with the lads yeah that's very true Um, it started off really I was in school um, and it was like when you would take on extra subjects I, I chose music and I remember um, I was at the young, I was just an acoustic guitar and then I met my bass player in music class and then we just wanted a more fuller sound so then we started advertising for a guitar player and then Adam had been following our stuff online and then he was involved um, and I met Trey our drummer in college so it, it was just something that slowly built up to the band you know what I mean yeah, but th you're bringing a lot of experience to the table as well because you were in another band that you were more the kind of country kind of music yeah. side and then you're kind of back to pop. Did you audition for The X Factor? Yeah, yeah, I yes. did. Um, so I, I have such a weird story. Um, I started <laughs> off uh, playing in this country music band. Yeah. And these, this was like, they were called the We Amigos, believe it or not. And uh, I started out when I was 11 years of age and it was huge. Like, there's videos there and they have like with 3 million views online and stuff on YouTube um, and we're literally just tiny guys singing country songs we're on the Late Late Show we went to Nashville we were supporting like cute, but I, a little was I aware of how big it was you yeah know, it was major because yeah. I was so young I didn't understand I remember going up around Enniskillen or some place like that and seeing a big billboard with like our faces on it because country music is huge up north it is absolutely massive, massive yeah but I think it was one of those things that it was so cute because we were small 
and, and <laughs> it worked because we were cute it did you know, <laughs> so, so the minute my voice started breaking and I started that was it, the, it was the end of that puberty moustache <laughs> was done um, so I, I actually then started going home and putting up videos on Facebook like cover videos mm. and uh, it was spotted by someone in Glasgow that was putting a band together and I, I went and moved over there and I was in fifth year in school and I started this boy band and we were on the X Factor uh, in 2016. I think we were, we were called all regions at the time and uh, we made it to the sixth year challenge. Uh, it was a boy band like and yeah. uh, once we got turned away like, it was absolutely heartbroken. I felt like it was like you know you've been told you were no good by the biggest names in pop music you know what I mean. Like, so it wasn't very disheartening when you hear that kind of feedback though. It was absolutely horrible. Like I came home with the ambitions of not playing music again. And yeah. uh, I remember going through Facebook and I was literally doing my leaving cert at a time a couple of years back and um, I saw a person advertising for a, like a wedding band kind of a thing. And then I came, so when I auditioned for that, I actually kind of said, what do you do? I said, I write a lot of stuff. And once they heard the stuff that I was working on, they kind of lost interest in doing this whole wedding band thing and this original band came from yeah. it. And that's how we slowly gathered. We wrote our first song. Um, so I think everything really did kick off last year, I would say, for the original band because we were we, we were doing cover gigs. We were making mm -hmm. some money, whatever. But then um, it was Ashley from the Frank and Walters in Cork. You know, they're from the Young Offenders, that yeah. song, their big band. He manages Cork Opera House and he had Billy Ocean, who's a huge mm -hmm. uh, artist from the 80s, said, he's coming to Cork and he doesn't have a support band. Would you like to take it? So that, that kind of kicked off everything for us. So we did that, absolutely amazing. Because you've been so busy since then. You've had a yeah, crazy yeah. summer even. So what have you been doing on summer? Gigging the whole yeah. time? Um, we were involved up in Bundoran for the sea, se sea sessions. Mm -hmm. uh, and we we did uh, we battled bands to get in there. And then we also battled bands to see if we could get um, a support staff for the academic. And we, we managed to get that as well. So we, we were supported them for 5,000 people. It was definitely the highlight of the yeah. summer. And through that, we, we were in uh, to, uh, a competition for uh, Philip McGee is a producer and uh, he produces Code Line, the script, the academic. Yeah, yeah. So he um, he got in contact after he heard our, our track run. He said it was a great track, whatever, and we went and worked with him. So that's how Home 5 was created. We worked with him. Because normally we would have went to Liverpool to record our music. Because okay. um, we didn't know many producers in Ireland. that we And we managed to just find one person through emailing in Liverpool that kind of caught our vibe. But then um, we were fortunate enough to meet Philip to all, to all the the base of success that we were fortunate enough to get. So, um, exciting things are to happen with this new single. Absolutely, and listen, yeah. we need to talk about it. Now, it is we just heard it there, but it's going to be released later in the year. We have no exact date yet, but can you tell us a little bit about the track, Gerald? Yeah, um, so after we met Phil, he said, go away and write 15 songs, let's say. So we had this little Dropbox link, and we <laughs> sent in ideas, and mm -hmm. Adam sent in this guitar riff, which is like the, the base of, of Home and Five. So, um, yeah, we, we sent it on to Phil, that was the one, we sent all the songs on to Phil and that was the one he said was the best. So we went up to Dublin to his swords, uh, where his studio is, and uh, we worked on that. And um, the lyrics behind it is, uh, is, is it's about, uh, Home and Five is kind of about having an argument with someone that like is at home on a night out and getting back in time to kind of sort it out, I think. Um, that that's what we kind of took away from it. It's it's a very, I I don't, if I go into too much about what it's about. I love the idea of listening to music and finding your own relationship to it. So I wouldn't spoil it too much for everyone. But um, which is great. Like I mean, if you hear a song, you don't have a preconceived idea about it, and you yeah. make your own meaning and take your own meaning from it, which is fantastic as well. Uh, listen, what is next for you? I really cannot wait to hear that single again. We just heard it, but it won't be released until later in the year, as I said. Uh, when it will be released, so everything will be on Spotify, YouTube, all that kind of jazz. Will there be a music video for it? So yeah, we um. We have really cool footage, so uh, over the summer mm -hmm. we have footage from being at the studio, we have footage playing in the Marquee yeah. in Cork, and we have just huge gigs, we, we did a gig down in the Tim Lee Festival as well, which was huge. So we have all this amazing footage to go with this video, and I I think all along, I think huge part of paying interest in the band is seeing character to the band. You know, it's great to have great music, but it's also good to get to know the people, so yeah. like, for once, we're not going out and film, getting the guy with a camera to film us, you know, playing our instruments and singing a song, you actually get to see into like, we're in the van, we're in the studio, get to see a bit of persona behind the band, uh, which is, I think a long time coming as well, because uh, 
it's hard to get to know someone just between Instagram photos and so I think yeah. videos play a big part so that, that that's a very cool video to go with the song um, but uh, music wise then are, is there an album you so yeah we with the... so it, it will be a single release just mm -hmm. a single on because we just released their album um, Feb in February mm -hmm. so it's not it's not even a year out yet so we're going to hang on we're, once the year mark prob we'll probably have a couple of singles uh, this year and uh once, once we get, some I can see by it. There's a lot going on behind the eyes there. Yeah. Like, yeah, there's a lot of stuff in the pipeline. There's it a lot is, of yeah, stuff so waiting to come. I, I would love to. Um, once we see some bit of success out of this and, and uh, gather what we can from this, these singles, I think we would love to go back to Phil or even Liverpool, um, whoever takes on their belt to work on a new album because. Uh, for the first time I said this is the first single that the band had input on, yeah. and it made the whole songwriting mm -hmm. thing a lot easier. Um, and we, and will, we will definitely be looking forward to that. Listen lads, before we let you go, you are going to perform live. So Gerald and Adam, what are you going to perform live for us in studio this afternoon? We're going to do one of our original songs called uh, Storm. Lads, take it away. Set sail today upon the coast I'm looking back but being away is why I need the most The sea got bigger, the tide got stronger, I dived in I dived in under I started to sink, I forgot to float, I need you now I need you the most, I started to sing, forgot to flow. I feel in the toy. I said, sail upon a storm. Then north and east, the wind, south and west. I'm trying now, I'm trying my best. Try to stop. I drifted instead. As the seals went up and the winds died down, I tried to swim. Then I drowned. The storm picked up and it hit the boat. There's a waterline between us both. Help me out. I need you That was unbelievable. Thanks what so a performance, what a performance. Listen, what are the social media handles for people to keep up to date with you and all your new music? 
that would be amazing. So our Instagram is Gerald Her Music. We constantly update our gigs and everything, and it's also Gerald Her on Facebook and same thing for Spotify. So it's G E R A L D A H E R N. You'll find everything on all your social medias there. Simple as that. Simple as that, yeah, yeah. Daryl Adam, thanks a million for popping in. Thanks I cannot wait for the release of the brand new track, which is called Home in Five, later this month or later this year. Yeah. I'm really looking forward to that. Lads, thanks a million. Thank thanks you so much. much for having us. Thank you.